<laughs> hey. How you doing? Good. How are you? Tired. I just did the Zoom. Oh, oh. no. What's that? Huh? You just did the 9 o'clock Zoom? Yeah. You did it in the gym by yourself? Yeah. All by my lonesome. Did you put the air on or did you like sweat it out? Sweating it out. There's a door open over here. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. That's fun. Oh, there we go. I got Chin coming in. I got okay. Giselle. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Got people coming in. What's happening, Ching? How you doing, Giselle? Uh, hi, Christian. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. I'm going to give it a couple minutes, maybe about two minutes, and see if everybody else comes in. How you doing, Ching? Sure. Uh, nice to see you. Hi, Christian. Oh, man. I just realized I have my shirt inside out. <laughs> That's funny. It is a body shirt. <laughs> it, it looks the same inside out and regular, right? <laughs> I guess so. You just see the tag. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. So I didn't get time to go through all of the lower body stuff. And I and I can't understand why. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of the upper body. Oh my goodness, the upper body one this morning. My posture feels what like is, I'm a champion. Is it hard? It is very difficult to hold yourself up against the wall. Like what you're, I was telling your husband, or you taught your husband to do? Yeah. It's hard to do that. You can't that. even get his head back at all. So if, it, if he's trying to get his head back, and his head has to go like this to get back. Uh -huh. You want it flat, right? You want it to be flat. That's cool. But if he has to go like that, then put a towel or put a shirt or something so that he can flex up against that while his neck stays. Oh, okay. Because yeah, he was like, because he was like trying to like, like his whole body was. So what I'd recommend is throw a towel behind his head so that he can press up against that and strengthen those back neck muscles, right? And then you would uh, just make sure that his core, his shoulder blades, you know, his nodule, keeping the rib cage pulled in, all of those things first. Hi, Thomas. Hi, girls. How you doing? Uh, good morning. I get you. I'm gonna get you. Uh oh. Yes, yes, <laughs> she calling. <laughs> all right, all right. I think this She's is. She's always on the phone. Always uh -huh. on the phone. <laughs> you gotta make that sound. Make that sound. All right, here we go. So. What do you, did you get any of a kind of a foam roll or a ball or anything, Giselle? Or you just got body weight? I just got body weight right now. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Do you have one of your stress balls? Yeah. We're gonna need that. Okay. I'll grab it right now. Okay. All right. So everybody else, we're gonna start off right here. Hey. If I can get it, whatever. My computer drives me crazy. So we're going to get a ball. We're going to go ahead and roll the bottom of our feet here, the bottom of our feet. If you only have a foam roll, that's fine too. We can go ahead and just use the foam roll. But I, I've been doing foam roll. Some type of a ball. Let me know if you're pushing down on that, if it does anything for you, Giselle. Probably not, huh? It's pretty soft, honestly. It's really soft. Let me see what else. It's like I'm squishing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to be able to like massage those muscles out. Do you have anything that's kind of like a cylinder or kind of like a harder ball? You want to massage the bottom of your foot out. Um, I don't think so. 
That's fine. That's fine. No worries. What I want you to do, Giselle, we're going to start you off. We're going to put you a little bit ahead of everybody else. So what I want you to do is we're going to stretch out your calves. So what I want is we're going to go ahead and get okay. into a downward dog. Or, uh, we're going to eventually get into downward dog. But what I want you to do, we're going to have our... Hey, you know what I was going to say, Giselle? If you, have a, if you have a water bottle, it works really good, too. Like a hard, like plastic cup that you put your water in. I did that yesterday with my foot because it, it was on the floor. It helped. Just a like a hydro Yeah, I had uh, my like my water cantina bottle that was on the floor, and I was like rolling my foot out on it, and it felt good. So it was just a suggestion. I think I have one of those. Let me check. Perfect. <laughs> I think that ball will be better for you, Ching. Yeah, there we go. Nice and slow. So, Ching, we want to we want to uh, hold it on a tender spot. So you find a tender spot and then hold it there, and then push down on it. There we go. There we go. Good. Really massage that sucker up. Slower the better. We don't want to hold the tender spot. Yeah, we don't want to rush through it. We want to slow it down and really dig in there. It's gonna put it's gonna like put wants to cramp. No, I couldn't find it. Oh, uh, that's okay. Here we go. So what I'm gonna have you do is we're gonna start right here. So your knees underneath your hips. I want your wrists, elbows, shoulders all lined up here. And we're gonna have our fingers spread apart. I want the the armpit of your elbow forward. So we're gonna twist our arm for armpit of the elbow forward. And now we're gonna jump onto our toes and push ourselves into a downward dog. One foot at a time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now one foot at a time. I want you to push one heel down at a time. So you're gonna press one heel on the floor, keep the other one up. You should feel a tight stretch in that calf. Really hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alternate back and forth, alternate back and forth. Don't force it. So don't force it. Just kind of let the stretch come to you. Go as low as you can and then come back up and then go to the other side. We're going to just alternate back and forth for a little while. Good. Have you ladies hit both of your feet yet? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, no? Okay, go ahead and switch to the other side. Good, Giselle. We're going to stretch out those calves. A lot of times when we have an issue with the knee, the problem is usually a muscle below or above. So what I'm thinking is it's a quad or a tight calf. We're gonna stretch those out for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good, kind of hold it, press down for like five seconds and then switch. Hold it, yeah, there we go. All right, Ching, have you gotten both sides, Ching? Yeah. Awesome. Good, 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 good. As soon as Jessica gets back, we're going to switch to the cat. Okay. Do you remember how to do the calf one? We're going to foam roll it first. Keep going, Giselle. That one hurts, huh? <laughs> My hands. <laughs> oh, your hands? My hands. So we can stretch out your wrist. You want to stretch out your wrist? Yeah. Okay. A lot of people have really weak wrists. So, um, and it's just, it, this one might hurt a little bit. Be very, very careful. We're going to get in that beginning position, okay? So we're going to have our feet, our, our same idea. Knees under the hips. We want the elbows, wrists, and shoulders all lined up here. Fingers spread apart as much as you can, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're kind of going to lean forward. There we go. Good. What I want you to do is I want you to try to pull your fingers up off the ground as you're leaning forward. It won't, make it, it won't be able to see it. I won't be able to see it because your fingers won't be able to pull up. But spread your fingers out as far as you can. Yep. Good. 
Now lean forward. I want that eye of the elbow. Remember the eye of the elbow? I want that, that rolled out in front of you. So you're locking that elbow out. Yes, yes. Now lean forward. Is that as far as you can go? I think right there is right. Okay. Now what I want you to do is lift your fingers off the ground in that position. Stay forward, keep the elbows locked out, and I want you to lift those fingers up. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt a little bit. We're strengthening that wrist. Yeah, yeah. Easy does it. Keep that elbow locked out. I want to, I want to strengthen, up, strengthen up that wrist for you. Good. Shake it out. Nice work, Ching. One leg on top of the other. All right, Jess, we're going to go ahead and, yeah, we're going to get that calf. Perfect. Dig in there just like that. <laughs> nice work, Giselle. Here we go. So now, what, now what I want you to do, Giselle, is we're gonna flip those wrists the other way. So you're gonna look like this. Fingers are spread apart. We're gonna go ahead and flip them the other way. In like this. Same idea. Locking the eye of the elbow out. Good. Oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna be on the back of your hand. Is that what you were doing? Oh yeah, 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 exactly. Yes. There we go. Sorry. So you're going to get there, and then you're going to try to lock those elbows out. You're going to twist your elbows. There we go. Get the eye of the elbow forward. Nice. Now what I want you to do is press those fingers back onto the carpet. Only about 10% of your strength. Try to push your fingers down. Okay. Good job, Jess. Excellent job, Ching. Good. Hey, Ching, try to put your foot that's on top. Try to put it on top of the other ankle. Yeah, add, there we go. Push in so you're adding more weight to that area. Perfect. And then to the left and to the right. All right, Giselle. So what I want you to do, we push down, right? You feel it when you push down? Now what I want you to do is get into that position again and then curl your fingers. Same position, same position right there. And then we're going to curl our fingers. Instead of pushing them down, you're going to curl them. So we're going to start off into that position. Push down, push down, push down. Good, good, good. Pull down those fingers and then curl them. It should be super difficult. Yeah, pretty yeah. good. Good. So I want you to do these exercises every once in a while throughout the day. That's going to strengthen that wrist so that when you're on it like that, it's not going to hurt so much. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah. Good. 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 And eventually, you see how your elbows are kind of flared out? Eventually, yeah. you'll be able to pull them all the way to the, to the armpit of your elbow forward. There we go. Perfect. So, ladies, have you had both of your calves yet with the ball and the thumb roll? Both sides? Perfect. Now we're going to get you ladies into that downward dog and stretch out the calf. I'm going to move Giselle up into another, uh, another stretch. So, two ladies doing the foam roll. What I want you to do, we're going to have our wrists, elbows, shoulders lined up, knees right under the hips. We're going to jump onto those toes. And then we're going to push ourselves up into the downward dog. Good. Now I want you to bring one heel down at a time, Jess. Good. Hold it for five seconds. Go to the other side. Hey, you're going to feel, it's going to feel a little bit weird. But roll those wrists out. And that's how we're going to strengthen those wrists, Giselle. Giselle. Let's see. I got the calf. Let's go ahead. And I'm going to move you to, um, Let's do a frog stretch. So what I want you to do is you're going to be facing the, uh, the camera like this, and I want your knees as wide as you can get them. You can face however you want, but I just don't want your, like, your butt to be facing the depression. So we're going to have our knees as far back as we can, or wide as we can, even those feet in. What I want you to do is we're going to rock back and forward. So we're going to rock back all the way, and then forward all the way. Rock back all the way, 
rock forward all the way. You should stretch out the inner thigh here. Nice and slow here, nice and slow. Good job, ladies, with the uh, stretches. Excellent. You feel that in the inner part of your thigh, Giselle? That really hurts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. We're opening up the tip. Yeah, it's going to, it's going to hurt. Yeah. Easy does it. Nice and slow here. Nice and slow. Good. After about 10, give yourself a rest and we'll do one more set, okay? Okay. Okay. Good job, ladies. You're rocking it. How are we feeling, Ching? Is it good on your calf? Huh? Are you okay? Is it good on your calf? Yeah. Awesome. How are we doing, Jess? I think you're, you, I see your, your heel gets so much lower now. <laughs> you're doing great. Good job, Giselle. Sorry, I was muted because the kids are loud. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. We're re they're running Ghostbusters on repeat right now, like blaring in the house. <laughs> I know when this quarantine started, one of the coaches said he saw Frozen like 50 times. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> okay. Awesome job, Giselle. Good, good, good. This is your second set, right? You're getting your knees wider. Look at how much better you're getting back there. Excellent. Perfect. Good. That's awesome. That's awesome. You're just, I can see the improvement already. I hit it the first three sets, the first three reps, but now I really like them. <laughs> that just shows you your hips are super tight. We got to open those suckers up. That could be a problem too. A hip problem can cause a knee problem, an ankle problem can cause it. It's, it could be anywhere. So we're going to work it off. Good, good, good. All right, ladies. So I'm going to move you ladies. Let's see. Um, inner part of the thigh, um, with the foam roll. So, we're going to have that foam roll right next to us, and then we're going to get into like a Spider-Man looking position like this, into like a uh, plank. I got something for you right now, just now. let me just show these ladies how to do it on a foam roll. I got another set for you. Yeah. So, we're in that Spider-Man position. We're going to go ahead and lean that. Yeah, bring this foot up a little bit so we can get that inner part of the thigh. You're going to find a tender spot, and then I want you to extend that leg all the way out, all the way out, all the way out, and then bring it back in nice and slow. Bring in that leg up because I want you to get the front part of that inner thigh here, and then extend out, and then come back in. So when you get a foam roll, this is going to help me tremendously. That movement right there, actually this inner part of the thigh, it connects into that knee. And you'll feel it, there's going to be a lot of uh, fascia that needs to be released in there. So, now that I got these ladies on it, you got the frog stretch. Let's see, do you have a wall or something or a chair maybe behind you? I think the chair would work too. I'll show you the, yeah, I'll show you the stretch after you get the chair. So what I want you to do, Giselle, is I want you to get your foot would be on top of that chair. It's not going to look good right here with the, but the, the top of your foot would be on top of that chair like this. Try to keep your knee as close to that chair as possible. Good. Excellent. Yep. Now what I want you to do is we're going to move into a lunge. Okay. So you're going to bring the foot that's not on the chair out in front of you, all the way out in front of you. I want it in front of your knee, your foot in front of your knee. Now, do you feel a stretch in your quad? Right here? Yeah. Slowly, slowly come up. 
Point as high as you can get. I'm on my back. Okay. okay, if that's all you can do, stay there. We're gonna slowly but surely get up to the top, okay? At your own pace, I don't wanna push you, okay? That's gonna get a really deep stretch into that quad. Good, hang out there, breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth there. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Awesome job, ladies. Good. Yes, try to bring that heel or the, the ankle up to the sky. I want you to kind of lift that leg. So your ankle is nice and high. Good, now extend out. There we go. There we go. Nice, Ching. Pull that ankle as high as you can to your ceiling. And then extend and push. There we go, ladies. It makes a world of difference just getting that, that ankle up a little bit higher. Nice. You're rocking it, Ching. Good job, Giselle. Awesome. Good, good, good. Breathe, breathe. Nice. Go ahead and take a rest, Giselle. Go ahead and take a rest. Switch to the other leg. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. Okay, I, it's gonna, I, I didn't. I didn't tell you it was gonna hurt. But <laughs> this is gonna help you. This is gonna help you a lot. You'll feel good afterwards. If you told me that it would have hurt, I would have not come. <laughs> <laughs> I don't put that in the marketing. That's not a good idea. <laughs> oh, good job, Jess. Nice work, King. Really massage. Find those different spots in that leg and massage it out. Get all those kinks out, ladies. Good. So the closer your knee is to that chair, the harder it's going to be, Giselle. We want to get as deep as we can. So you're going to play with it. You can get your knee closer. Go ahead and do that. If not, then, you know, you know your body. Listen to your body. Don't push it too far, but challenge yourself. Good. Get that nice stretch in there. Excellent. Good job, Ching. What I, I usually recommend, Giselle, is two minutes on each side. So we did about a minute on the other side. Let's do about a minute right here, and then we'll switch and do it both sides twice. Okay. Awesome job, ladies. As soon as you're ready on the foam roll, I want you ladies to get into a frog stretch. We're going to do a dynamic frog stretch. So remember, the frog stretch, our knees are as wide as we can get them, as wide as you can. And then we're going to shoot our hips as far back as we can, and then as far forward as we can. Try to, when we're coming out forward like this, what I want you ladies to think about is squeezing your glutes and pulling your, your belly button to the back of your spine. So you can get that full extension right here at the top, and then come back. That's really going to stretch out and activate that, gro that groin. So when we squeeze our hips and pull our belly button back, now we're activating that groin, or, uh, that area, and that new length in position. We want it to activate so it stays there. Squeeze, squeeze, belly button back, squeeze the glutes, shoot the hips back. Back and forth. We'll do about 10 reps, and we'll do two sets. Nice and easy, ladies. Good job, Giselle. Let's try to bring that front foot a little bit in front of your knee here. Just a tad. There we go. Good. Awesome, Giselle. Perfect. We're working on that balance, working on that stability, working on that flexibility. Awesome. You got it. You got it. Easy. Be sure to breathe through your stretches, ladies. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Don't hold your breath. That's going to that's gonna make a... Prevent oxygen to get to the muscles. We need oxygen to get to those muscles. Excellent. Good job, Ching. Just like that. Good. When you're coming forward, I want you to squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes, and pull your belly button. I want to try to get a straight line from your knee all the way to your head. There we go. 
So push forward, 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 forward. Come on, squeeze, 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 squeeze. The glute and the core. Yeah. Yeah. We're challenging that. Good. Nice, Ching. Challenge yourself. Keep doing that. You're going to get farther and farther each time. All right. One more time on the other side, Giselle. You got this. Good. There you go, Jessica. I see you challenging it. There we go. You're going to feel that activation in the grind. Good. Those hips come all the way back to your heels. Um, King, try to get those hips. There you go. Go, go, go. Extend, extend, extend. Try to have your butt on the heel. Try to have your butt on the heel. All the way back, all the way forward. Nice. There you go. Good. That's it, Ching. Good. Awesome job, Giselle. There we go. You got the hang of it. Got this, Jess. Jessica, you don't look like you're having a good time. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You keep coming back. <laughs> Why? Why do I keep coming back every week? I suffer pain every week. <laughs> I'm like almost in tears with all the pain I feel right now. <laughs> Oh, ladies, I love it. I love it. Oh. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. How are we feeling, Giselle? <laughs> I'm feeling good. I think the stretches are really helping you. you got some blood. But I am in pain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. All right. Good job, Ching. I love it. Look at you're extending so much more. If you can see this video, Ching, you're improving so much right now. All right. <laughs> All right, Giselle, I'm going to have you, um, uh, let's see. I'm going to have you do uh, a pigeon pose. Um, okay. We're going to try to do the pigeon pose first. If your knee is bothering you, please let me know. I I'll switch it up, okay? But, um, okay. This is what I want. So a lot of time when people do pigeon pose, I see their ankle way back in here. I want to make sure that you keep your chin perpendicular with your body. So if you need to, keep your hand back here to prevent your ankle from coming back. So have your, your hand behind this ankle pressed down so it prevents it from coming back. That would be your left hand. Yes. Yeah, your left hand is going to prevent that from coming back. Now with the other hand, I want you to push this knee down. Does it hurt? Yeah, because I can't. Um, it goes back to my to my other knee, like it pushes it pushes back. So I really have to hold my hand there. But it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Okay, good. No. Perfect. Now what I want you to do is your left hip. So let me see. Your left hip. I want you to. Drive that into the ground. Good. You should feel that on your right side. Yeah. Yes. Yes. There we go. Try to keep that chest straight. So your hip, you, you drive that hip, but your chest stays out in front of you. So you're, you're squaring your shoulders. So you try to square your shoulders. Um, your left shoulder back. Good, good, good. As long as you feel it in your right glute right here, you should be good. We're stretching the heck out of that right glute right now. Good, 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 good. All right, Ching, here we go. You're, off. you're rocking it, Ching. We're going to go ahead and foam roll the piriformis now, okay? So you're going to get your ball. I think I, I like your ball a little bit more. Where is mine? All right, so Jessica and Ching, what I want you to do is we're going to go ahead and I want you to find your back pocket and I want to go right above that back pocket, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and foam roll that area. So go ahead and keep it there. And Giselle, we're going to switch back and forth. One minute. So go ahead and switch to the other side. We're going to do one minute, one minute, and then do it uh, two sets like that. Okay. 
Okay. Let me know if it's bothering your knee. I can always switch that stretch to something else, okay? Okay. Uh-oh, I only got 10 minutes. I really got to get the pro. So I can get, I'm like, are you okay, Jess? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? Okay. <laughs> look in your, if you can see your face right now. <laughs> Good. So remember, Giselle, we want that, uh, uh, that ankle out in front of you. See how your ankle is in towards your pelvis? I want that ankle. There we go. Put that hand behind it and hold it in place. It's okay if it's not perfect, but I don't want it all the way back in. Okay. There we go. How are we feeling, Ching? You got the chair for us? That hurts so much. <laughs> That little tiny muscle does a world of damage. That little muscle. Uh oh, uh, you're kind of breaking up, Giselle. It's frozen on my screen, and you're. Oh, better. There we go. Would you say I'm sorry? I see. Nice. One more time on each side. This one kills me. <laughs> yeah, this one's this one's pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie, this one's really rough. Good, good, good. I can't put all that weight on it. I'm like, I can't even do that much weight. Yeah, Ching's over here. Uh, you know what we need to, you know what we need to do with you, Jessica? Is have you been doing those lumbar exercises? When I have you do the cat cow, but only the low back. I did it yesterday. Okay, we're gonna need to do those a lot. That might be a problem why it's tightening that sucker up too, because that low back is is tight and it's stuck in that position. Good job, Giselle. Nice work, King. Breathe through it, ladies. Breathe through it. There we go. So, Giselle, when you're doing this on your own, I want you to spend a little extra time on this side, okay? This one's much tighter than the other side, I can tell. It's okay, just bring it up as far as you can. If you can't bring it forward, eventually we'll be able to do that, okay? And then you just drive that hip down, perfect. Uh, drive your left, your left hip down. Push it into the ground. Yep, there we go, there we go. Good, good, good. All right, so. The ladies doing the foam roll, what I want you to do is we're going to jump into that pigeon. Oh, if you, yeah, go ahead and do both sides, Jess. Sorry. Have you done both sides, King? Um, I want to do this side again because it's tighter right here. Sure, sure, sure. And then after that, we're going to jump into the pigeon. Uh, I only got six more minutes. Um, we can always jump back in if you want, but it's going to kick me out in six minutes. Do okay. you want to do it now? No, no, no. We still have some time. Maybe the next the next transition. If you want to do that, it's going to be the same same meeting room, same password. Everything's the same. I want to make sure we work work all that stuff out. Yeah, Giselle, how we doing? I'm good. All right. So I'm going to try this one with you, Giselle. This one is very, very, very difficult. Um, it's hard for me to coach it on Zoom because I, I literally would need to tap your back. But let's try to do this anyway. 
So we're, we're going to do it once again. We're going to get into that position, that same position that we always get into, that knees over the hips. We've got the wrist, elbow, shoulders all lined up. We're going to pull the armpit and the elbow forward, okay? What we're going to do is similar to a cat camel. So what we do with a cat camel is we go up and down, right? But I only want you to move your pelvis. So we're going to come pelvis to the anterior. Think of your pelvis right here as a bucket of water. We're tilting the bucket forward and we're tilting the bucket back. So tilting it forward, tilting it. I only want to use the low back. You're going to want to use your upper back. Try as much as you can to only use the low back. And then push, 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 push. And then come back forward. Push, 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 push. And then come back forward. Up on me. I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you a little bit now. Yeah. I didn't hear anything you said though. <laughs> it's okay. So I'll, get back to the I'll get back to it. I'll get back to it. No problem. Here we go. So what I want you to do is, so Pat Camel, you're going to want to go up and you want to go like this, right? I only want this area to come up and down. So we're going to okay. push our pelvis down, push our pelvis up, trying not to move the low back, the upper back. See how we want to use the shoulders in the back? See how the, your upper back wants to come up? I only want you to tilt your pelvis. Yeah, see, this one's going to be tough. Go ahead and keep doing that. Keep doing that. So we're going to go all the way down and then push all the way up, 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 up. Now, think about me tapping your low back. I want your low back to come up. Your low back is still stuck down, and your upper back is using it. I want the opposite. I want your upper back to stay, and I want your lower back to come up. Does that make sense? It's very, very difficult. So, Giselle, do you remember? Do you remember how we did the frog? How I had to extend your hips forward and squeeze your glutes? Think about doing that right now. Instead of pushing with your arms, think about using those hips to push forward. And then your lower back will come up. So remember when we push forward in that frog pose? Try to do that same thing in this position right here. Good, good. That's the start one. That one looks good. I'll see if it goes up on my screen. Sorry, I'm just texting her right now because she froze. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Now you're back. All right. So all the ladies, we're going to all try to do the same thing. So we're going to get onto our, I want your wrist, elbows, shoulders. I want your knees right under your hips. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? Let's jump out and jump back in. I have less than a minute. 